Hi guys and welcome to the first part of JavaScript Basics. If you're looking to learn web development and you need to learn JavaScript, you are in the right place. So this video is going to be a very short introduction and in the next video we're going to get down to JavaScript in more detail. So if you're ready, grab yourself a cup of tea and let's get started. So in this JavaScript series, we're going to talk about variables and data types, conditionals, loops, functions, comparisons and operators, and more advanced JavaScript things like ES6 syntax. So in the first part, I'm going to talk about what JavaScript is and how it can be used and show you some examples. JavaScript is one of three building blocks of the web. So if you've been following me recently, you've seen tutorials both on HTML and CSS. JavaScript is the third building block of the web. JavaScript adds behavior and interactivity to a site. Some examples of how it can be used are opening and closing a mobile menu, getting data from another source and displaying it on our website, and making pop-up modals, all of which I have tutorials for on my site. I'll leave those links in the description. JavaScript started life as a client-side language, meaning it was built into your browser. But recent times using Node.js, we can now use it on the server side, meaning it can receive requests from our browser, manipulate data from databases and send it back to us in our browser along with lots of other things. Also using some very smart tools, we can now write applications for desktop, smartphones, and we can also make games using JavaScript. So JavaScript is becoming a great all-in-one language and it's listed by GitHub and Stack Overflow as one of the most popular programming languages. Now, JavaScript is always being added to. And ECMAScript is a specification that determines what new features get added. So you can often find newer, sleeker ways of doing things in JavaScript than we used to be able to. So I just want to show you how we can write JavaScript directly in the browser. So if we right click anywhere on the page, click inspect, this brings up our dev tools. Now you can see console here. If we give that a click, we have a console window so we can add our JavaScript. So we can do some maths by saying three plus three equals six. And all the maths we want to do in here, we will get the sum of. We can also show an alert. So the browser's default pop-up. And how we do that is we type the word alert, followed by a curly brackets, then we can add a message with quotes. So we can say, hello world. Close it with a curly bracket, close it, sorry, close it with a parentheses and a semicolon will finish our line. Hit enter and there you go. We have a little pop-up that tells us hello world. So now I'm gonna show you an example of what we'd use JavaScript for every day. So our hamburger menu here in the top right corner we can remove that from the page with JavaScript, or we can hide that from the page with JavaScript. So how we do that is we say document dot get element 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 by ID parentheses brackets nav toggle, and that's because that hamburger menu has an ID of nav toggle. We gave it that in the HTML. Then we can say dot style. So we're just in the style of this. Dot display. So we're just in the display value of the style. And we'll send it equal to none. In quotes. And there you go, it's disappeared. So we've just hidden that on the page now. It's still technically there, but we can't, as a user, get to it. So we can now show that again. So if I just press the up arrow, it brings back our last item that we put into the console. And I change none to block and hit return. You can see it's come back. So this is called manipulating the DOM and it's a key part of JavaScript and something you will use every single day. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.